Yo, so it's been a while since I've made a video, so I think I'll do a little bit of an introduction. Um, but before that, I just want to say huge apologies to everyone who expected me to keep making videos. I know in the last video I made, there were some comments that, um, that and you guys really liked my video, and you guys, um, you know, told me to keep you posted, keep you updated on my journey. Um, and I haven't done that. It's been six months since I created my last video. Um, and again, huge apologies for that. But um, I figured that a lot has happened in my life recently. And uh, I thought I'd just give you an update about what's happening in my life, kind of where I'm at at the moment. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So a quick introduction to who I am. My name is Raj and I was really fortunate early on to find something that I was really good at and something I enjoyed doing and that was coding or programming. At the end of year 10, so when I finished year 10, uh, which was uh, 2023, I decided to drop out of high school and um, yeah, so I dropped out of high school. I got an internship as a software engineer at a startup here in Melbourne. Yeah, I did that for one and a half months. So that was until February this year. Um, and then I think around that time, uh, from March to April, I was kind of networking, um, searching for jobs, meeting new people, just getting my brand up. And one day when I was at a networking event, I met a, a wonderful person named Prithik. He's actually the head of engineering at Australia Post. So I met him, we had a wonderful conversation, and he actually introduced me to his friend who had a AI consultancy. So um, the thing I specialize in is, I, I know how to code, but I kind of specialize in machine learning and artificial intelligence. That's kind of where my passion is. So when Prithik mentioned that his friend owned AI consultancy, I was like, dude, this is awesome. I need to get on this. Um, so Prithik actually um, referred me to them um, and this was around April. So he referred me to them. Uh, we set up a phone call. Well, I had an interview and uh, I got the job. So around April, uh, I think it was, yeah, it was exactly April 11th that I got the job offer to work as a, uh, to work as an AI engineer at that company. And the incredible thing is that April 11th is also my mom's birthday. So, you know, two great things happening on the same day. Um, so that was April 11th. I got the job offer and April 17th, I started working as an AI engineer at that company. So uh, today's date is 26th of October. So I've been working at this company for six months um, and it's been an incredible journey. I've learned a lot. I've been able to work on some really cool projects. I think it's a great company. Um, in terms of life updates, that's kind of all I have for you. I guess I can show you my new desk setup. So in the previous video, I kind of had a simple desk setup, but now a lot has changed as you can see. Um, so let me actually just flip the camera real quick. Okay, you can see that your boy has got a new setup. Um, so first thing, we've got an electric table. So this, here are the controls and it's a standing table. So you can, if I go four, press four, it will shoot up. So now I can stand and work at the same time. So, you know, if like working from home as a software engineer, you kind of sit a lot and it's not good to sit for like eight hours straight. So this is really helpful for just getting more active, being more mobile while you work. Um, so yeah, that's my electric table. Uh, you can also see that I've got a second monitor. So previously I had one monitor, which was just in the center of my table. Now I've got two monitors and the difference is crazy. Like you can do, you can have so many more tabs open. Um, it's just crazy for productivity. Um, let's see, I got this book. Um, it's about finding your passion. And I don't know if you've heard of Ikigai, but that's the diagram for Ikigai. Uh, it's actually a really interesting book. Um, that's kind of it. I'll go on my whiteboard here. I do have to blur the stuff on the whiteboard because that's work related. Um, but yeah, I've also got a bouncy ball, which I use sometimes. Um, I mean, but yeah, that, that's the new desk setup. 
It's actually a beautiful day outside, so I think I'm gonna head outside and then continue there. As you can see, it's beautiful Melbourne weather today. Uh, we've got clear skies, a burning sun, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a rare one, but <laughs> might as well enjoy it while it's here. Um, I mean, it's been an incredible journey. So right now it's October. From dropping out of high, I mean, not even from dropping out of high school, like from writing my first line of code to realizing that this is the career which I wanted to pursue. This is what I wanted to do to make money, This because I enjoyed this, this was my passion. Um, and then deciding to drop out of high school at the end of 2023, um, to landing my first internship, and then to landing my second full-time job, which I'm working at currently. Um, it's just been an incredible journey. Along the way, I had to work a lot, face a lot of rejection. Um, it was it was kind of tough. It was sometimes it was really tough. And I want to share this story, um, which I think um, if anyone my age is trying to get into this field or is just stuck on a challenge, I think this story will really help you. So around uh, December, right, I dropped out of high school. So January came, January 2024. Um, I was looking for jobs. I was applying to um, online applications. I was giving my resume um, for software engineering positions in, in, in Melbourne. And um, I applied to five, 10, 15, 20 jobs. Uh, I don't even know how many applied I applied to, but I have a folder on my laptop which contains all of the companies I applied to. It's, it's a crazy amount. Um, you know, I was going to the city, I was networking, I was meeting new people, sharing my resume with them, just telling my story, trying to find any sort of opportunity. Um, and um, it's actually really interesting because none of the opportunities that I, that actually worked for me were from applications, online applications to jobs. So I'm, I've, uh, I've worked at two companies so far. Uh, my first internship and the company which I'm currently working for. And both of those did not come from applying online to a job. They both came from networking, from meeting new people. And it's such an interesting, it's such an interesting um, phenomenon to me. So the first internship I got around, um, I think it was mid-January. So I met someone at a meeting and um, he referred me to a friend who was running a geospatial analysis company. So essentially what this company does is it analyzes satellite images and for example, Australia, right? So it would analyze images of Australia, um, images of crops. Um, it would analyze, you know, like which areas have a high risk of flooding, which areas have a high risk of um, bushfires. And it kind of sells this data, sells the insights to banks. Um, and the reason banks would be interested in that kind of data is because when banks are, I guess, selling land or when banks are funding land, they want to know what's the risk of this land being um, damaged or subject to flooding or bushfires. So that, so, so that was the business. And um, at the time, the company was just a one-man team. It was just uh, the founder himself and he was kind of setting things up. So I got referred to this person. Um, and I, I just said, you know, I'm a software engineer. Um, I've been coding for about four years. I dropped out of high school. Do you think I can help you with your company? And um, he said yes. So I worked there um, for around one and a half months. And the reason I quit after one and a half months is because it was unpaid. <laughs> so I wasn't actually getting paid to work, um, but I still think it was a valuable experience. I'm glad I got that opportunity. Um, so that was, the end of, that was around the end of February, I finished that internship. Um, and then the grind started again, you know, I was searching for jobs, um, networking, meeting new people. And um, I went to so many uh, networking events. I wrote so many job applications. Um, I remember like I, I, like I had this interview with a company, I won't say the company's name, but I had an interview with this company and they said that, um, so we had the online meeting. Um, it wasn't really an interview, it was more like a introduction kind of se session. So I was just telling more about myself, the recruiter was telling more about the company. And 
Um, after the meeting, I decided to, you know, take some initiative and actually follow up with the company. So I went to the Mel- I went to Melbourne. I went to the city, the CBD. I went to the company head head office, and I just asked if I could get a meeting with um, one of the recruiters or one of the head of engineering there. And I did that, um, but I got home and I actually got an email from them saying that you are not invited to come to the company. Um, please don't come again. Um, and you know that was kind of tough for me um, because I thought I was taking initiative. I thought I was um, doing the right thing by following up with the company, um, just letting them know that I'm eager about this position. You know, I fired up. I want to. I want to work here. Uh, but they ended up rejecting me. And that was a interesting experience. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say here is that don't be afraid of rejection because the truth is it only takes one success for you to win. It only takes one. Um, it only takes one person to give you a chance to give you an opportunity. And um, once you get that one, don't let go of it. Just seize it and um, go full on with it. So, like I was saying earlier. Um, Around mid-April, well, actually, um, I think April, like early April, I met um, a person called Prithik, and a wonderful guy, and um, we met at a networking event, and uh, he told me, so I, get, I shared my story, I dropped out of high school, you know, blah, 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 and he referred me to one of his friends in the, uh, who, who had an AI consultancy, a generative AI consultancy, and, um, you know, we had an interview, we had a phone call, and on April 11th, which is my mom's birthday, we uh, got, I mean, I got the job offer, signed it off. And um, so that was, that was an incredible experience. Um, and uh, April 17th, I started working. I've been working here now for six months and it's been an incredible journey. It's been, um, it's been wonderful. I know that was kind of a long story, but um, the main lesson, if you can take something away from the story is Number one, don't be afraid of rejection because it only takes one person to give you a chance, to give you an opportunity. And second of all, you never know where your opportunity will come from. It will come from the most unexpected person, the most unexpected event, the most unexpected time. You don't know when it will come. And there's a saying, right, that uh, luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Um, so that's, and that's how I define luck. It's when you are prepared for something, you are mentally prepared for something, you have all the facts, you've, you know, you've done your research, and then out of the blue, an opportunity comes. And then from an outsider's view, you know, it, it looked like you got lucky. You're like, oh, you just happened to get that opportunity. Um, you know, it was the right time, the right place. But if you hadn't done the preparation, there would have been no point in the opportunity. The opportunity would have been wasted because you wouldn't have been prepared. So... The, the moral of the story is you never know when your opportunity will come. You know, I applied to so many, I would say like 50 to 100 jobs, online applications, and none of them landed. I got so many rejection emails. So I guess what I'm trying to say is you never know where your opportunity will come from. Um, the only thing you can do is to be prepared, have all your facts, um, be mentally prepared, and um, be proactive. Um, meet new people. Meeting new people is such an important thing, especially when you're first trying to break into your career. Um, I think there's a saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And it's, it's really true, especially when you're first getting into your career. Having a good network, knowing a lot of uh, people who are in the industry is really important, really useful for, making, uh, for breaking into the industry you want to work in. So that's me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something useful from my, from my journey. And um, yeah, I mean, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.